Here I'm at Yanqi Lake. Behind me is the venue where the heads of state met during the very first Belt and Road Forum back in 2017. Now it will once again welcome distinguished guests from all around the world. Six years since President Xi Jinping proposed the Belt and Road Initiative, a lot of friends have gotten on board. China has signed more than 170 cooperation agreements with more than 120 countries. With regard to the Belt, there are six economic corridors under the BRI framework, among which the new Eurasian land bridge and the China-Pakistan economic corridor are considered the most advanced. For example, the Korgos International Border Cooperation Center has connected the East and the West, attracting businesses, tourists and logistics. Also, Pakistan's new Guada International Airport, the $230 million China-funded project, will link Pakistan's fast-rising port city with the rest of the world. And when it comes to the road, or Maritime Silk Road, China is now connected to over 600 ports spread out across more than 200 countries. One of the star projects, the Port of Pures, now serves as a significant transit hub for international trade and has also brought Greece's economy a major boost. Then there's third-party market cooperation. For instance, China and Japan are considering developing infrastructure and energy projects in Thailand, which would bring the two sides and the third party tangible benefits. In addition, China has deepened its collaboration between the Belt and Road Initiative and other development strategies. Over the past six years, the Belt and Road has created more than 240,000 jobs outside China, with trade volume between China and BRI countries exceeding 6 trillion US dollars. Financial cooperation through the AIIB, Silk Road Fund, and Chinese-funded banks contributes to the development of various projects. Thanks to Belt and Road, China's friendship network now spans five continents.